For these, we are just adding fractions and decimals together. In order to add fractions together, they need to have the same denominator. So I'm going to change these to sixths. 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 times 2 is 4. I can combine the whole numbers together, which gives me 7. And 3 plus 4 is 7 sixths. That makes another whole with 1 sixth left over. I'm also going to do 6. So you can see an example of a decimal as well. Make sure that you line up your decimal points. So this will say 23.096 and 54.34. We can fill this empty space with a zero. Nine plus four is 13. Three plus one is four. That decimal stays in its position. Three plus four is seven and two plus five is seven. Complete the remaining exercises in your warm-up. Use a number line to represent the expression and then find the sum. I'm going to start with zero right here in the center. Each one of these little marks represents a half. So one hole, two holes, and a half. And then we're going to go backwards a half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half. And that leaves me at negative four. You can also think of this as negative 6 and negative 0 0.5 combined with 2 and 0 0.5. These are additive inverses, so they make 0. And 2 and then go backwards 6 puts you at negative 4. Evaluate the expression. Actually, I don't need to put zero in the middle this time because I have two negative values. I can combine the whole numbers would give me negative 4, and then I can combine the decimals, which would be negative 0 0.97, for a final answer of negative 4.97. If we make these halves, that would be negative half, 1, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, and then not quite to three and a half. And then we've got negative one, and then a little bit more than a half. Or negative 4.97. For problems 3 and 4, refer to Sean's way, which follows. The add-ins add -ins have opposite signs. One is positive and one is negative. So instead of thinking it of, of it as adding a negative, we can just subtract. So he says 10.9 minus 
equals 10 plus 0.9 by decomposing it and minus 6 and minus 0.85 by decomposing that. Well, 10 minus 6 is 4, and 0.9 minus 0.85 is 0 0.05 for a final answer of 4.05. The positive addend has a greater absolute value, so the sum is 4.05, because this one is a longer arrow or vector the answer has to be positive. Did Sean get the right answer? Yes. He used decomposition, or he decomposed his numbers and solved. Now, why can we think of it as subtraction? On our number line, we would go to the right 10.9 and back 6.85. So really, we're looking for this distance or the difference between those two. So we can think of it as subtraction. If they have opposite signs, we subtract and then just figure out which one is the longer arrow to determine whether your answer is positive or negative. How might Sean find the sum of the following expression? In this one, he goes back 6.85 and back 10.9. So we can combine those two values. Six point eight five plus ten point nine. Five plus zero is five, eight plus nine is seventeen, six plus one is seven, and we end up with seventeen point seven five. But that's we've got to check and see is our answer going to be positive seventeen point seven five or negative? It's going to be negative because our values that we're adding together, our add ins, are negative. So if they have the same sign, we can just add the absolute values together and then figure out if our answer is negative or positive at the end. In this section, you are going to complete these with your team in class, and then you can come up and check and see if your answers are correct or not. You can do the same thing here. All I'm going to show you would be the answers, but then you are going to figure out the work or the steps. And if you come back and you check and you have an incorrect answer, then you're going to have to go back to your team or to whomever and see about fixing your work so that it does give you the correct answer. All right, so it says here, at 1 p.m. the temperature was negative 12.83. Over the next 10 hours, the temperature dropped 17.65. What is the temperature? Or what was the temperature at 11 p.m.? After it dropped, what was that temperature? I noticed they have the same signs. Both of them are negative. So I can combine them, just add the regular numbers. And then at the end, should your answer be positive or negative? Negative, because they're both going to the left. They're both headed to the negative direction. So try it out here. Just add 12.83 and 17.65. Pause the video while you do that, and then come back and see if you have the correct answer. For problems 6 through 13, estimate and then find the sum. These have opposite signs, one's positive and one's negative, so you're going to have to subtract those values and then determine if your final answer will be positive or negative based on which one has a greater absolute value. For number seven, 
Both of those are negative, meaning they have the same sign. So add 4.15 and 3.87 together, and then determine if that final answer should be negative or positive based on the add-ins in the original problem. Pause here, complete six and seven, and then come back and check. It might be helpful on number six to change it to negative three and two fourths. That way you have the same denominator. Here are your final answers for six and seven. Number eight has opposite signs, so you need to subtract them. I would change this to say two eighths, so your denominators match. In number nine, they have the same signs, so we will add them together and determine which sign we use for our answer. You can change this to three sixths and two sixths instead of a half and a third, so they have the same denominator. Try eight and nine, then come back and check your answers. Give 10 through 13 a try. Pause the video here. Complete those activities and then resume when you're ready. Here I've converted them both to 15 so they have a common denominator then try 12 and 13. Make sure your workbook is filled in and your warm-ups are finished. Have a great rest of your day.